be willing to say I do with a drone overhead? Adriana Diaz introduces us to the wedding photographer going to new heights. His innovation may be flying in the face, though, of the law. Emily Sieverding and Chad Feller both grew up in the same small town in Iowa. When they got engaged, they wanted their wedding celebration to stand out. Weddings around here get pretty typical. You got the same places and same thing. And this will just bring something new to it that nobody's ever done around here before. And you'll have pictures forever. To right. Remember and hopefully it. they're awesome pictures. <laughs> the couple hired Dale Stearman as their wedding photographer after they saw one technique Dale used to capture the big day. Well, we first saw it on yeah, we Facebook. Saw it on Facebook, seeing pictures of it, the, the wedding you did up there. And like, well, that's kind of neat, you know? And we're like, we should email him. Make sure he brings that to ours. So Emily and Chad invited one non-traditional guest to their wedding last weekend. This drone. It's just incredible. It right Dale now. is one of the first so wedding photographers in the country to use a drone equipped with a camera to take wedding photos. Our brides absolutely love it. Uh, they, they're getting one-of-a-kind one images that uh, it just cannot be taken without it. So people think of drone, they think of war zones, not weddings. Right, right. That's exactly right, and that's why we changed our terminology slightly to, to quadcopter when we introduce it. When you mention the word drone, people are like, oh no, you know, but uh, you just explain to them with quadcopter with the camera, you know, attached to it, and they're like, oh, okay, it sounds a little more personal and a little, little less high tech and out of this world, really. But the regulation around drones remains murky. The Federal Aviation Administration guidelines say drones need to fly below 400 feet, avoid flying over populated areas, and not be flown for business purposes. Without permission from the FAA to fly a wedding drone, they're technically illegal. In June, New York Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney drew criticism after it was disclosed his wedding photographer employed drones. The congressman sits on a committee that oversees the FAA. We're not here to stub our nose at the FAA. We want to do it safely. You know, we don't go near airports or hospitals. Photographers like Dale insist drones enhance their ability to get the best shot. We try to capture different lighting and different angles. When we got it up in the air and we saw what we could do with it, um, I just knew the angles uh, was, was going to be remarkable. This wedding season, drone photography gives the bridal rhyme something old, something new, a new meaning from above. Definitely always imagined the big church wedding uh, with the whole family and stuff. Never thought that a drone would be present um, taking pictures. For CBS This Morning, Adriana Diaz, Bellevue, Iowa. People right now are Googling Dale Stearman. How do I get that guy for my wedding? I like yeah. it. Whatever the risk, this is, I just love the idea of being able to photograph things from a new perspective. Absolutely. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Hello, Christmas photo. <laughs> That's I have a, a new idea. idea.